Hi everybody, this is Mandolin, and I talk a lot about energies and what's going on and what we're feeling because of them. And I did talk about tools, I believe, in my last video. One of the most amazing tools that I have come across is QHHP. QHHP stands for Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. It was developed by a wonderful soul, Dolores Cannon. Um, she's since transitioned, but her spirit is still with all of us. She is a very strong energy. I had the privilege of learning her technique from her daughter, Julia, at a class. And Kaya Wittenberg also helped teach the class. And we had an absolutely amazing group from all over the world. When you walked into the room, there was, you could feel no judgment. You could feel no hate, no anger, nothing but love and compassion, acceptance, curiosity, which is a big part of QHHP. As a QHHP practitioner, we're kind of like detectives, or you see like the curators in the museums that, that study things to figure out the secrets or the, the lost or hidden knowledge that's attached to it. And every time that you access that hidden or forgotten knowledge, or sometimes secret knowledge to others, you can use it. You have to decide how to use it and be in touch, but you can use it. And QHHP truly does that because it puts you in touch with that part of yourself that is connected to the all. And I mean the all, the all-knowing, the all-seeing. They know what happened way back when. They know what's going to happen tomorrow. They know everything about you. And that part is truly you. It is your oversoul, your higher self. I like to refer to it as my true essence. It's that part that's connected to the all. And so what we do is we establish and facilitate a link to that part of yourself. And you can ask it questions. And it can bring you memories or experiences that are meant to help you to understand and to proceed forward in your journey. Now when you have these experiences, if you don't believe in past lives, you're not gonna to go to one. Again, I want to stress that you are in control of the information and the experiences you have. We do conduct and facilitate the session, but you are in control. The part of you that has your best interest and is most caring about you and most knowing about you. So it's completely safe in that manner. When I had my session, I did experience healing. I experienced healing of some broken bones in my foot that had been there for a couple decades. I could walk nowhere across nothing without shoes. Now I can, I can get outside and walk around barefoot as long as it's not harsh terrain and I'm not too long. I can tolerate that now and I couldn't before at all. So I know that there's physical healing. I did get in touch and get advice and get reassurance and insight from my higher self, my true essence. That was so valuable because when I saw that that part of myself looked at certain things in my life, a certain way, experiences that I had had, I knew that I had to change the way that I thought about those things. I did get information on why I've experienced so much death in my life and that was a huge, huge chunk of information that started this healing piece. And I did have some past life experience and memories. I won't go into the details, but it did confirm some thoughts or dreams or visions, whatever you like to call them, that I had had. So that was reassuring knowing that these dreams or whatever are there for a reason and that I could start to trust what it was. I'm going to put a link below so that you can go to the QHHP official website and get a more in-depth explanation from the view of the people that taught me this technique. As I said before, it's safe. There's never been an adverse or bad session reported uh, that I've been able to find any information on and that is 
what the official company says to you, because it is a company, it's an academy. And I just want to tell you that if you can unlock some of these secrets, if you can find your way to sense and understand and utilize these energies that are here to help you proceed forward in your path. And as soon as you start to proceed forward, then you will receive more reassurance in your heart and be able to focus on your own improvement of your life, of your experience, of yourself. Uh, thank you, Julia, for keeping on bringing this beautiful technique. It's a sacred privilege to know this technique, to utilize this technique. I'm so honored because I know that everybody there was directed by the Lord. Her energy was so prevalent. Thank you, Kaya, for your joy, for your laughter, for just your exuberance and excitement. Um, and, and, and the inquisitive spirit that everybody brought to the air was amazing. My classmates in the class that I had, I don't think the experience would have been the same without that group of energy present. And I would like to ask you, share this video. If you don't choose to have a session with me, that's fine. There are practitioners all over the world that have learned from Julia this method and I believe operate with the spirit and energy of Dolores standing along their side at all times. She's still around being part of her energy is now part of this method, I believe. And I want to thank every one of you for taking the time to watch this video. Because if you're watching this video, there are thoughts going through your experiences in your life that are saying, what can I do to improve this? There's got to be some kind of answer out there. This can be part of your answers. This can be part of your healing. For me, this has become part of who I am. So definitely share this video. Um, like, if you would like to leave comments, I would love to hear your opinions. I would try to answer questions or direct you to the proper source for an answer. And if you would like to contact me, I will include an email where you can get in touch with me. And I just ask you to bring a kinder side of yourself out. Let that exist more. That's what we need right now. There's a lot going on. Today is Lion's Gate. This is an amazing energy to anchor some good energy in. And it's our chance. Remember kindness and love and compassion. And let's take this journey together and make it an incredible thing to talk about.